Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to uh, show you how to install the, the indicators um, for your trading platform. Uh, some indicators are needed by the uh, expert advisor, the, the robot, and some you might prefer to have it on your chart so that you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to show you how to install these uh, seven indicators. Right, the first one I'm going to install is this one. Right, let's have a look. Right, when you download the file, obviously it's uh, it's a zip file, and uh, you'll have to unzip that using your favourite uh, unzip software, and then uh, you get a folder like this. And then you'll have uh, your indicator here but this one is a source code so you can't use it when it's uh, just an M MQL4 it's got to be an EX4 file okay but anyway I'm going to copy this and then install it or transfer it into the platform the MT4 platform folder so let me just copy that and then close that down go to the platform we need to go to file let's zoom back in again so, so that it's easier uh, for the YouTube little screen right we go to file And then we go to the data folder and then we go to the MQL4 and then to the indicators. Now as you can see my indicators are completely blank because I've cleared all the free indicators that the, um, the broker uh, supplied you with. So I'm going to paste that. Right, as you can see, like I said, that you can't use this on the M, on the platform because um, it's not uh, a readable file. It's just a source code. So there's one easy way of converting this, and you use the MT4 platform internal software. So just double click it. And there we are, it's loaded at the source uh, file. And all you have to do is go up to here and click compile, okay? I call it convert, so if I call it convert, you know, you know what I mean. So click compile, and there you go, a tick says it's done. Just go down to make sure it's converted properly. And if, if there are no errors, then we're okay. Um, right, it says no errors, but there's nine warnings. So, so that's quite okay. But I would have preferred it uh, to be no errors and no warning. Now, if you get errors in the uh, conversion or the compile compilation, uh, then it will not work. Right. Right, let's close that down. And then close that down. And then close that down. And then it should be in the folder now. There we are. So it's automatically placed it on the folder for you. Now, if there was any major error in this um, indicator, uh, source code it would not actually convert or com compile okay so now that we've got it into an ex4 file we can use it so let's close that down and then we need to go back here go to the little star under uh, the little folder at the back click that and then we need to go to the indicators section which is here 
Now these other indicators here are already built into the MT4 platform, okay? But normally you, you should have to refresh it, so let's refresh it anyway. So if you don't see it, refresh it, but normally you have to refresh it. There we are. So now we can drag this across over to the chart. Now this actually, uh, is that it will dis be displayed at the bottom actually. So, and then you get this box opening up. Now if you go to the common, normally some indicator will, will ask for it to allow Dell. Okay, this is permission to use your um, Microsoft um, extension, if you like. Uh, there's no harm in it, but it, it does actually say, you know, the, the, it's, a, it's dangerous to use it. But I think it's basically because in case your computer's got viruses, and it could obviously travel uh, to your platform. Right. Input. There's no need to change any of the inputs here, okay, on this one. But sometimes you can change the colour and stuff like that. But this one, not it hasn't got uh, many uh, colour adjustments, as you can see. So just leave this one as it is. And then just OK it. And close this down. Zoom out. So you can see it, and there, there's your indicator. Okay. Zoom in a bit more, and there, there's your indica indicator. It's a very useful indicator, by the way. Uh, it tells you the, uh, you know, the up and down position of your uh, currency. You can slide that down a little bit more. Okay. So that's your first indicator. Right, so we've done this one, so let's move that one slightly out of the way. And the next one I'm going to do, do this one. Let's go up here. And uh, after extraction or unzipping, you get this. And then uh, oh, this, this is just uh, an EX4 file, which is good. We don't have to compile or convert it. So just click on that, copy, copy, close that down, go back to the chart, we just do the same thing and go to the file, open data folder, MQL4 indicators and just paste. Close that down as we do not have to convert. Right, just go back here. Now we need to go back to this uh, icon here. Click on that, go to your indicator here, uh, just highlight it and then refresh it. And then our indicator is here, the one that we just uh, uh, dropped into the uh, folder. Just drag that along down here. I think this one actually can go in here as well. No need to do anything on that. Um, the input, if you like, you can change the colours here on this one. Yes, on this here, colours. So you can change the colours to your liking. And if you make make any mistake, you can often you can often reset it. Okay. So we'll just okay that. Just close that down. zoom out and that's our second indicator now some indicators uh, will allow um, you to put 
one on top of the other so this is this will obviously save you space and cluttering on here okay. oh by the way I move this uh, uh, this, this this trend line here or, or the candle uh, to one side actually I think you, you know how to do this let me just uh, zoom in right it's here so just go like that and it'll go back to the end I've deliberately moved it over here so I can actually put some indicators on that on the right hand side so just go back here and then just click that button again here this icon and it'll move back to give you some space on here now you can there's some indicators uh, will will automatically place itself on this side and you can't really you can't really uh, move it uh, some indicator provide you with some facilities uh, to put where you want which corner you want it in okay but not all of them right, let's zoom that out so so far uh, we've got two indicators on right we'll move on to the next one okay so we've done this one move that to one side and then I'm going to uh, uh, do this one here double click on that and th this one is a EX4 file as well so we are lucky we don't have to uh, convert that or compile it right click copy Close that down, go back to the chart. Same thing, file, data folder, and then to the uh, MQL4 indicators, and then paste that in there. Close it down, go back to here where this uh, icon is, a star shaped icon, and then right click here, refresh. This one here, trend, that's right, this one here, buy and sell. Okay, now this indicator you can also actually put it down here. But obviously you can put it up here if you want, but I prefer it down there to keep keep. If you've got two or three indicators, you know you you want to um, keep it um, uh, in one section rather than cluttering your chart because your charts is quite important so that you see it. Right, let's uh, drag that across. Which is down here. get this box now here it will ask you which which uh, window corner right it just says window but it means corner and if I put one here it will go into that box just okay it and there it is okay so I'll close that down zoom out so there we are we've got one two three indicators here right I'm not going to show you the rest of the installation um, because uh, it's only repetitive anyway uh, so please download the uh, indicators and then you can uh, practice for yourself uh, but let me just uh, zoom out now and this is the final result okay this is the final result and uh, this indicator here um, you need to move it to here 
this one here this is the uh, time zone uh, you'll have to select where you want this one to be that's quite easy but this one you need to um, set it up yourself and, and this one here that will go there and it will not go anywhere else there's no facilities uh, to put that where you want this one here again let me just show you just go here and you will see all the indicators list yeah indicators list just right click and then indicators list just zoom in and that's all the indicators I've installed now the one that I was just talking about um, you need to uh, well if, if you want it leaving you know where it, where you dropped it then oh that's fine but if you want to move it somewhere else uh, then you need to uh, you need to set it up right which is this one go to edit scroll down and this is the setting for it um, obviously it's done like a graph uh, X and Y X being your vertical position and the Y being your horizontal okay so if you, if you set that to zero it'll, it'll take it straight back to the left and um, the higher the number the further it is uh, to the right and this is uh, obviously the higher the number uh, the further down uh, it is but anyway test it out for yourself um, I hate these indicators that doesn't have corners actually so, so, they, so you can automatically just set the corner where you want went the corner but you know it's good practice after you've done that just okay it Okay. Right. And any of the indicators that you don't want, just highlight it like this and then press the delete. Right. Now I'm going to wait now for the server uh, to come on so that um, I've got the signals and you can see it in action. Well, well, this is the uh, complete installation and the Sydney um, session has started and uh, I have um, redone the colours actually on here. Um, the other indicators are working so everything has been uh, installed properly. So uh, I hope that this uh, tutorial uh, will help you so um, and we're going, going to conclude this video now so um, see you next time